Across Texas and the nation, people are neglecting, abusing, and abandoning donkeys at an alarming rate. Luckily, many of those animals end up in a network of rescue gr groups. And KXAN's Josh Hinkle found some individuals, like one man out in the hill country, are trying to stop donkey dumping on their own. If you look into a donkey's eyes, it's not like looking into another animal's eyes. It's, it's, you, can, you can tell a lot about them. Looking at these two, you might never know what they've been through. So we named him Jack and her Jenny. Two months ago, Charles Monroe... That's a good boy. ...heard their story from a friend. You're going to be on TV, man. You're a movie star, Mr. Ed. Overweight and neglected. Come on. They lived on a farm not far from Monroe's Bertram home. Jack kept getting out of the fence, and he kept going and trying to mate with, uh, with a, uh, another, the neighbor's horse, and the rancher found out about it, and he said that he didn't need any mules, and if he... If he had a mule, he was going to slit his throat and he was going to kill this guy. The donkeys soon found themselves on death row, or sometimes worse, with the threat of abandonment. This sad situation is something called donkey dumping. The largest rescue organization in the United States says last year it took in 100 donkeys nationwide, and this year in Texas alone, that number has gone up to 500. My mission in life is just to save them from death for no reason. Better fed and loved, these donkeys are recovering after Monroe rescued them. I'm out of grass right here. I've got a little bit over an acre and I can't support them. Spending a lot on hay while looking for their new homes. It's $25 a bale for the square bales and for two donkeys that'll last three days. He knows the adoption process will work like it did for another donkey he rescued before Jack and Jenny. Mr. Bojangles was his name. Now Monroe's looking to start an actual charity and recruit people with extra land, trailers, and money. I'm not looking to make any money. I just want to save donkeys. There's nothing left, dude. In Bertram, Josh Hinkle, KXAN News. Monroe actually placed an ad on Craigslist to adopt those donkeys out, and we have his contact information on this story at KXAN.com. With it, even the Travis County Sheriff's uh, getting involved in stamping out donkey dumping now. After our recent round of wildfires, some of the animals were either abandoned and escaped, so deputies have been rounding them up. If you'd like to help with adoptions or have a lost donkey, call their office. They'll be able to help you out.